Hey guys, and I'm back after about three months off. Uh, it's quite a good timing because KiCad just released a new software, KiCad version 6. It seems pretty much different, the interface and everything. I played around with a bit. So this video, I'm just going to compare version 5 with version 6. What's new, uh, how to install it, and what to look out for. Uh, so as you guys know, I've been offline for about three months. That's because I just got a little baby girl. And as you know, first three months is quite hectic and intense and she needs a lot of attention but it's easing off now so now I'll make some more videos about KiCad version 6 helping guys how to use it how to make PC design and building some projects especially for babies coming up but for now enjoy this video about KiCad version 6 so the first thing we do is we just go to KiCad's website kiCad.org and we can download uh, I use Windows I'm pretty sure the others are pretty similar but for Windows I just go download and you can see the current version, version 6. This is quite a big release for KiCad. It's about, I think, two to three years ago before they made version 5. And they added some very cool features. Um, features that I enjoy using Altium, I can use in KiCad now, which is very nice. And then I'm in Europe, so I use one of these, depending where you are. Um, I think most people can use CERN or try OSDN. Um, all of them should work. Just check which um, bit version your PC is. Mine 64 bit, so soon download you guys can donate some money because KiCad is free of course it's open source but there's a lot of people working outside on this project so if you guys have the money donate to them help them out to make even maybe version 7 in the future so then you just wait for it to download so once you installed it you'll see if you got your start button and I type in KiCad KiCad is actually not two different applications so you still have version 5 if you have not installed it but version 6 actually has a new icon this blue little one. So just open it up and you'll see it looks totally different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open KiCad 5 and 6 next to each other just so we can roughly go through it and see what we can see, what the differences are. And KiCad 5 will open. You guys are familiar to this. This is the old way of looking at it. And this KiCad 6 is the new one. So let's just go through it. So you can see next to next, number 6 on the left hand side and number 5 on the right hand side. Yeah, depending which way you look. Um, so what I've noticed is you cannot open version 6 project files in version 5, but you can of course open version 5 to version 6 and save it as the new extension or new version 6. So once you save in version 6, you cannot use version 5 again. So let's just go through some new things that I saw. So on the file side, it's pretty much similar except this new one, open demo project. So this was not in version 5. As you can see, we could make templates. Um, so you guys know about that. We can create project from template. That's the same project from template. But open demo project, it seems that Kika gave you some base things you can use to create your PCB. So almost like a template, but not so if you want to do some simulation, Python scripts, and then we'll give you some examples. So they are not all KiCad, but it's to do with, they're not all PCBs, but it's to do with KiCad. Um, so you can see, I can open different projects schematic electrical keycad and then you'll get some crazy stuff like this so this is just a nice way to have a base of if you want to make a schematic for some something I don't know in the future and there you can see some it's read only so you can't edit it so you got to save as a copy and reuse it one thing you also noted is they changed their way of a look so this icons here is the same as the top right here but they did add an extra one Plugin Content Manager. So this is actually just quite a nice way of installing different plugins that KiCad have. So you guys know I use the Intact HDM bomb and it's already here. So you don't have to copy it over to the folder of KiCad and do it that way. You can kind of install plugins now, which is very cool. But the rest is the same schematic editor. You'll see all this is still the same. And then tools is the same as this tools here. And just a quick thing I saw during help is they added donate there. So guys really, like I said, if you can donate because this Version 6 is really, really, it can give Altium almost around for its money uh, and it's free. So it was not here and then all this stuff seems a bit similar. Preferences looks the same. So let's look at the schematic and PCB and what's different there. So here's the two schematics next to each other. Version 6 on the left hand side, version 5 on the right hand side. And just initially, I don't, yeah, it's a, just a preference, this red like errors down, errors up. I don't like too much. I think they should have changed some bit colors because I just see those errors the whole time. 
So as you can see here, it's different colors, which I prefer, but of course that's just cosmetic. Uh, what's cool that I've noticed is if you've got file schematic set up, you've got way more violation and rule checking now. So you can see if I connect the input, uh, output to input or output to output, then it's giving me an error. So if I put output to output, I have two voltages next to each other, and that's going to give me an error where I did not see this in version 5. Um, I might have missed it, but I've tried to look around. I don't see it. Uh, it's not in preferences, as, um, as you can see here. So I've got preferences. There's also a bit more here. But this is new for me, this but, um, schematic setup. We've got it for the PCB, as we'll get there, but I've never seen it for. So we've got net classes, which is very, very cool. So be able to check more. If you have any problems with your schematic, uh, rule checking is very, very important. Because if your schematic is correct, the chances of your PCB not being correct is very small. Of course, you can have tracks is too thin, too thick, or not too thick, but too thin, gaps too close to each other, things like that. But connectivity-wide, schematic is very important. One of my favorite things for the schematic, uh, besides the new rules that I can make with my classes, and the pin conflict is just basic connections. So normally in KiCad version 5, I had to push W to create a wire, but KiCad version 6 is smart enough to know I want to make a connection there to there. So I don't have to push any buttons anymore. When you hover over it, it will know you are making a wire. So I really enjoy that feature. Um, it's just one of the many, but this is my main one, just to give you guys an introduction of what is actually different in the schematic wise. And then you guys can just have a look um, there's probably some stuff I missed, like I said, I only installed it yesterday and just having rough looks like this is new, like um, switch to PCB editor, that's not there. So it's just a quick way to go to your PCB design and we'll jump and open your PCB editor just like that. So let us look at the new PCB layout, uh, PCB new. So on the left hand side is version 6 and on the right hand side is version 5. Initially, you can see there's way more layers than made available. So a lot of user layers that you can use for anything you want to. And I'll show you later what you can actually use it for. Um, so the same board setup. Place, you'll see there's more options. So you can actually make some. So some of the major things they changed was if you go to place, you can actually place board characteristics in stack up table. Um, that was not available the previous version. So this is ideal if you want to help the manufacturing just know what type of stack up you want. So your copper core and what material you use. This is really, really nice. Our team could also do this. So wall up to KiCad and then also add board characteristics. How many through holes you have, um, things like that. What is also new is if you go to inspect it show board statistics. So this is very nice if you order from JLPCB or PCB way. Then you can actually type in how many through components you have, how many SMDs, and it gives you an accurate quote. You'll see on PCB Way and, and JLPCB, there's sections where you can type in how many THDs do you have, how many SMDs, um, how many different components you have, and then this can be used directly for that. Another thing I also like about the new version is the board setup. So with the board setup, you'll see you can add more board finishes. You can do a physical stack layup. So here you can choose the material. Um, that's really really amazing the layers you'll see in the old version you'll choose your copper layer in your layers there but yeah it's a bit different yeah you choose it over here and you got more you got more control of what you want to achieve and then again there's new classes and rules you can use it's also much nicer to look like this with pictures where the old one was a bit of a yeah, just fill it in like this. Now you can see actually what you, what rule are you changing? The distance between tracks, the thickness of tracks is very, very nice. One of my favorite features for the PCB part of it is the first one is the making of tracks and changing the properties while routing. So in version five, if I have a track pushing X and I route it, I have to be on the top copper layer and I route it, I cannot change the width of it um, while routing, I can go okay, change my track width to some other th thing, or I can change it double clicking and change it like this. But with version 6, I can go X and push E for properties and then change it on the fly. 
So this is a very nice, similar feature to uh, Altium. I'd be a bit worried if I was Altium. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff popping up here. And another simple thing that they added was making the board outline. We used to draw line by line by line. Now they've added a square. So you can just draw a rectangle yourself and then we've got a board outline. Much quicker, much easier. Small things, but it makes a big difference. And that's it guys. So we just went slowly through what's new with version six and version five. It seems that they really focused on error checking. So making more rules, more easy to access. And also the whole interface is more user friendly. Uh, I'm really excited about it. So I will start making videos again for version six, making PCB designs for version six. Uh, as you can see throughout the video, my shirt changed. So it's different days that I'm making this video. It's a bit crazy at the moment, but at least I'm back. And yeah, so I already started using KiCad um, version six for project already. So what the next project is, is I'm going to make my own baby activity board. Uh, as you guys know, this is quite popular with little kids just getting their senses activating, but I want to electrify it or not shock them, but give it some electronics. So I made this brain board um, controller where I'll add different keys, joystick, uh, LEDs. So when they touch it, stuff will happen. Um, so I'm going to focus a bit more on PCB designs for babies. So it's just helpful for me. So I'll start a new collection for PCB design. And that's what you, I will do. My next story on is this board and how I made it happen. So stay tuned for more tutorials about PCB design and version 6 of KiCad. Thanks guys. Bye.